Ah, oh, the cat fur, the cat fur. We hit the mother load. Pat McGrath finally put her specialty shadows in a quad. And it's literally like she took the Mothership palette and she cut off those four specialty shadows and made a quad out of it. So I have not just one, not just two, but three. <laughs> of them now just to give you a confession one of them was free this one was technically free we're gonna do a review definitely swatches a little mini demo of how i got this look before we get in make sure you subscribe to keep up with all my videos hit the bell notification button so that you can not miss one and without further ado let us get in a little background this one is nocturnal nirvana nn this one is iconic illumination ii and this one is i call it rrr rascal ritualistic robes and you'll find out why and these ones i got on the sephora site and pat mcgrath was a rascal about that too actually and this one i got on pat mcgrath site and i did get it in a bundle form with <laughs> with some of her lipsticks. These are the dual matte trance lipsticks that I got and I got it in Beautiful Stranger. You gotta watch for those beautiful strangers. Be very careful. And in Fembot. Look. Oh my god. Look. So this is Nocturnal Noran. This is Iconic Illumination and this is Rascal Ritualistic Rose. This is how it comes in this amazing packaging diamond encrusted ribbons and that it's like you unwrap it because it's in that kind of old-fashioned letter folder paper and then you open it up and it's like this and then with these ones you actually pull it out it is separate not unlike the six pans and you have the legend at the back right it comes out and what i didn't realize is that this gives mother pats the mother of makeups resume at the back i won't read that but a little later so this is how it comes and you get 1.5 grams of product per pan and this is made in Italy the component is heavy like the mothership palette and on the back instead of a plastic labeling you get this beautiful gold metal label with it etched on the back like a mother Pat was not sparing any expense when it comes to her experience and her baked these are almost like a baked formula shadow 1.5 grams of product per pan so that's six grams each at 65 us dollars which makes the grams per cost per gram at ten dollars and 83 cents now if you compare it to tom ford's four quad this is tom ford's quad it's actually the same cost per gram it's a beautiful packaging okay but it isn't as luxe as this okay this is weighted and this has this amazing label this has a plastic label on the back it is 1.5 grams per pan on the website sephora holtz whatever they got it confused because it's saying it's 10 grams in here which makes it 2.5 grams per pan it's wrong on the actual packaging it lists it as six grams meaning 1.5 grams per pan at a cost of 88 dollars us so i'm going to put the actual cost per gram there this is going to be tom ford's 
is more cost per gram than this because this is 65 US, this is 88 US. And then we've got Chanel's, Chanel Le Four Ombre, I'm reading it down here, is 62 US dollars and it only has 0.5 grams of product per pan at a total of two grams in a four quad, which gives you a cost per gram of $31, okay? And even Chanel's component is nowhere near this. So when people are complaining about why is this so expensive? Why is it so expensive for Pat McGrath? These are specialty shadows. Not even Tom Ford's beautiful baked formula in here is as unbelievable. All of them are made in Italy. I don't know whether Chanel's is, but Tom Ford's, Charlotte Tilbury's, this is made in Italy where all the high quality makeup is made. And Pat McGrath, she's got astral shadows in here. There is a glitter formula like nothing else. You cannot compare the radiance, the illumination of her astral shadows in here and her blitz shadows compared to even like Tom Ford. This is a very special formula. It is expensive to make. I would guarantee that her formula is more expensive to make than Tom Ford's wet dry formula is. And I would guarantee that the packaging is more expensive than Tom Ford's is to make. And I would guarantee that the packaging is more expensive than Tom Ford's to make. As pretty and simple and sophisticated as this is, it's nowhere near the, the, the packaging and you can argue with me, I may be wrong, I could be wrong, but I think the quality and the experience that you get an experience from the time you put this package in your hand, to opening it, to pulling this out, to opening up the shadows and what you get inside, and then the back, there's, there's no comparison. This is on a level. The other thing about it is in particular her blitz and her astral shadows, they are stupendous. And I have swatched them next to some indie brands. Indie brands have been doing the astrals for a little while, but if you swatch them next to Pat McGrath's astrals, you are not going to get the radiance and the bounce back of illumination that Pat has. If you don't swatch it, you'll never know the difference, really. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Like JD Glow has her galaxy shadows. Davina has some beautiful shadows in her collection. Luxie does too. Not quite as much as Davina. And then there's Cleona Cosmetics. However, when it comes to the radiance and bounce back, they can't quite compete. Though, there is only one that I found that does. Only in some particular shades from one brand that can be on this level. That's another video. <laughs> and let me just read you the back of this, just to give you her CV, okay? So that you understand where she's coming from. Pat McGrath, the mother of makeup and the runway. Yes, she calls her the mother of makeup, because everybody calls her the mother of makeup in the back of there, and in the front, and everywhere around. 25 years of groundbreaking artistry, obsession, inspiration, addiction, 87 makeup trunks used backstage at Fashion Week, artistry, Alchemy Allure created the look for 3,300 runway shows on 129,000 models, technique, technology, truth, the makeup master behind 401 magazine covers, mystery, mesmerization, majorness. They all call her the mother of makeup for a reason. She's got her CV down pat and she's got her makeup down pat. No pun intended, mother of makeup. Starting with Nocturnal Nirvana. Now this, nobody knew about this obsessive opulence collection. Nobody knew about these Blitz Astral Quad. It was in the wee hours of the morning when I was trying to purchase Norvina's volume three, the butterfly palette. And it was said it was supposed to launch on a particular day and usually it will launch in Eastern Standard Time in Toronto at 3 a.m. But for some reason, Anastasia Beverly Hills has been 
dragging their feet on the launches for Canadians. It launches a week later, but it's not stipulated on Instagram. So here I am in the wee hours of the morning, starting at 12 o'clock, because Natasha Denona, when she says she launches on a certain date, she launches on a certain date. And in fact, she will launch at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, when most companies will launch theirs at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, Norvita didn't quite do that. So I was up all night refreshing my screen on Sephora's website looking for this palette to show up, but it didn't. But So whilst I was just wasting my time, I was scrolling through and just visiting here, there, and everywhere, and next thing you know, boom! Out of nowhere, these quads showed up. Pat McGrath dropped these quads called a shock drop but she only dropped um, nocturnal nirvana and iconic illumination and let me tell you i went copied it and showed it on instagram so she is a rascal but she held off because there was a secret other palette and that was the rascal ritualistic rose which we will get to it's that anyway story. this was a shock drop i let i gave everybody the heads up at three in the morning had to stay up until five in the morning answering people's questions blah 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 and it was quite a fun very sleepy time Pat McGrath just decided to sneak it in drop it down and create a happy confusion this was the right name for nocturnal nirvana because I was up all night nocturnally and I hit a little bit of heavenly nirvana when I saw this shot I'll go over the swatches for you this one does not contain any astrals so the glitteriest shadows are blitz aquamarine and VR emerald VR means for virtual reality which means that it I don't know whether you can see that here that it is a duochrome shifty so it shifts to a deep purple even a little bit of a pink this one's kind of smooth this one is incandescent gold 003 and this is a buttercup golden metallic gold with gold micro fine glitter sparkle it is very fine there isn't a lot of it compared to the two others this is not an astral it has no way near the glitter sparkle of an astral then you have Blitz Aquamarine, which is a sparkling turquoise with a blue micro glitter. Then you have VR Emerald, which is the virtual reality duochrome, a sparkling emerald duochrome with green and a little bit of pink and yellow micro glitter in it. And in dim light, you will see pink and purple flip. It really shows up in dim light. And Blitz Purple is a vivid purple sheen with pink micro glitter. This is a party in a palette. You can do a whole bunch of looks with this. This is so fun. However, I would wear, as you see in my demo, I did put in some mattes from different palettes because if, especially if you have a crease like mine, you're gonna need some mattes going in there. But sometimes you can blow out these into the crease, especially if you have just more of a socket. The only thing that I have to say about is, I miss my astral. I kind of wish that the incandescent gold 003 was an astral formula. Other than that, this is an amazing palette. I did with my eye look, I used this palette, but I did add in a Blitz Astral from another quad. You'll see when I, when I speak about it. Uh, one of the things that I wish was, is that Blitz Aquamarine and VR Emerald, they look very different in the pan. When you get Blitz Aquamarine on your eye, it really shows the Aquamarine quality. It really shows the greenish quality. I thought that I could make a halo eye with these two. You can't because they hardly differentiate if you put them on the eye. What I had wished, they're too similar in tone and they're too similar in color, especially when you put on the eye. It won't differentiate. So I kind of wish one or the other was lighter so that you could make a proper halo eye with it. It would really extend the palette a lot more. And I do wish what this one was bluer as opposed to more greeny once you apply to the eye because then it starts to kind of look too close to the VR emerald color. But otherwise, this is beautiful. For iconic illumination, I picked this baby up from 
Sephora in the store. Now, I wasn't planning on picking it up, but it was free. I'm just gonna start by saying that it was free. Inevitably, anytime I go into Sephora store, I always make a beeline visit to either Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath or both. Actually, both of them. I always go to both of them. So of course, Pat McGrath was right there. I went to see it. I see the quads on display. I'm going, this little rascal over here, the Astral Gold Allure, was beaming at me and practically winking at me. So I couldn't resist because anything gold, as I said before, I'm like a mad pie. I need to go at it. So I did a swatch of this beauty. Let me do a swatch right now. I did a swatch of this beauty and it was a done deal. A done deal. And the thing is, you're probably not going to see it. It was a done deal. At this point, once I swatched it, the glitter, the illumination, the ra radiance, I nearly fell over and I'm not even joking. I said, I have to get this quad. And the thing is, I came into the store with a, a return gift card. So I had the money on a gift card. It's not generally the color story that I go for, but I do love burgundies. This is a lovely soft gold. This is a nice, everyday palette. It's like an everyday color story, but bumped up to a luxurious finish. I thought, you know, this would work when I want to kind of keep it to as an everyday, which is hard for me to do, but every once in a while an occasion calls for it, this will fit the bill. It's kind of like when I'm coming back from an injury or a sickness, I make sure I always have beginner intermediate DVDs at the ready so I bought them purposely so that if I'm coming back from an injury and illness I can go to them this is my coming back palette. Watch this for this and let me tell you the astral gold well anything that is the specialty shadows mm, especially those astral the astral gold allure is a glittery white gold with pink and yellow micro glitter with super powers because the astrals are the most glittery iridescent radiant bounce back of light imaginable they start off as sheer but are easily buildable a hard to copy formula and what sold me on this palette the blitz bardot is a sparkling deep burgundy the bronze gold 003 is a glistening golden bronze and the bronze brown is a rich chocolate brown. The Astrals, the formula is a sheer formula. However, it builds very quickly. Upon second swatch, you've got it built up. If you put a third swatch, you won't be. And you don't really need to dig into here too much, okay? Because otherwise, you're gonna just be picking up too much product. This is, again, my emergency palette when I need more of an everyday, but I want it to be a luxe everyday. This is it. And finally, the Rascal Ritualistic Rose. I call this the Rascal Ritualistic Rose because Mother Pat did another sneaky thing on us. She held this one back. There was only some people that knew about this, but we were not supposed to say anything because nobody was supposed to know about it. And she held it back to be launched fully, her obsessive opulence collection on her site. So she first did the shock drop, then she did a full Obsessive Opulence collection launch on her site where you could sign up for early access earlier on in the morning that you could get 10% off. So she held this one back for that. This is how this happened. So I purchased it. I did the early access and with that I bought it in the bundle with the lipsticks. If you sign up for early access you get 10% off but if you bought it in a bundle form you didn't get 10% off because it was already at a reduced price. And I believe you could only get it that way on her site. This time around, she was good because she shipped it right the next day. So it came quickly with the mothership 
six pallet. It took over a week to ship. By the time I got it, I could have bought it on Sephora's website and had it to me way before. However, I got it. I was very, very happy. But you know what she did? She didn't tell anybody. By the time I ordered it within the week, she had shock dropped the ritualistic rose. She relented. It was a relented rascal ritualistic rose shock drop on Sephora's site. So that's how it showed up. This is the one I, I also really, really, really wanted because I am infatuated with rose. That was the color that I found that Pat McGrath wasn't doing too much of was any kind of more rich pink colors in this formula. So I'm super happy because this is kind of like a mauvey pink. And this one, this one is a very interesting interesting color because what is this one called this one is called astral gold orchid okay hold on a second see the swatches so that you can see what i'm talking about first antique gold 002 is a glistening shimmer of a soft gold with a bit of gold and yellow micro glitter micro super fine glitter Astral Rose Orchid, of course, is the most glitteriest and the most bounce back of light because it's an astral. It's a glittering gold to rose duochrome. Yes, I did say gold to rose. Even though it looks like it is pink in the pan, duochromes can be very deceiving and look one way in the pan and then be actually another way when swatched. This is one of those deceiving colors. It also has gold, light green, and pink micro glitter in it. <laughs> this is a surprise color because I thought it was going to be much pinker than it is, but I'll talk about it later. Then we have Beyond Bronze 003, which is a sparkling deep in bronze, a bronzy brown with orange and yellow micro fine glitter, and then you have Rose Quartz 005, a metallic plummy pink with pink and blue. Yes, even blue micro fine glitter in it. This is a very fun palette. The love romantic palette this here is the little shocker it's the deceptive one as I said before duochromes can be very deceptive can look one way in the pan and look another way when swatched I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't more pink it was more gold with a pink flip as opposed to pink with a gold flip but after playing with it on my eye I'm growing to like the appreciate it more because it gives a more almost sophisticated look to your looks with this instead of it being too candy pink on the eye if it had been more pink with a gold flip there's something about it being more sophisticated and more elegant and more should I say more interesting this way. So if you were expecting this to be pink with a duochrome, it's not. I hope you're not disappointed. like it more and more. I love that it's my pink. It's a rascal palette and it's a rascal when it comes to this color too, but I like the duplicity of this shade. How I got this look on my eyes, I went into Viseart because I've got a grease, I've got to use it. And use some of the little browns in this quadrant over here to just kind of go into my upper crease to create an almost a bit of a framing and to ground the blues and the purples that would be going into my crease. Then I went into Natasha Denona's purple blue palette and I went into this blue and this blue to go into my inner upper crease to give the framing for my eye look. So then I went into the palette that kept me up all night, Nocturnal Nirvana, and I went into Blitz Aquamarine. I put that on my inner lid area. Actually, I went in the inner lid and the outer lid with my fingers, and I gently almost did the whole lid with it. I did leave a little bit of room in the middle because I was going to put in an extra color in there. And then I went into Blitz Purple in the outer corner of my lid using my baby finger. I went a little bit too far. Everything was a little bit of a mess with me today. So, but, and it doesn't usually happen normally. So I went in with my baby finger in my outer corner and I then put it on both on the outer corner. I then went in and kind of blended it up into my crease a bit to meet the blue that I put in in the upper crease in the inner so that they kind of blended together a bit when they met. So that's how I applied Blitz Purple 
And then I went into Rascal Ritualistic Rose, and I went into Blitz Rose Orchid, and I added that to the little space in between to give it that oomph that I wanted because Nocturnal Narada did not have an astral color and I really wanted an astral color on my lid to just bring it that oomph that I really wanted. So that gave that glitter and gleam and that lightness and that almost halo look, that bounce back look. So that's the nice thing because you can use these sheer, you can use them as toppers, you can use them all over the lid, which I did in another look. So that's how I made this eye look. And then we for I forgot the bundle for the ritualistic rose are these. And you've got Fembot and you've got Beautiful Stranger. Now beware of beautiful strangers, okay? Because they are very tempting, but you can go very wrong with them. They can be very dangerous. Whether beautiful or not. Be careful of Stranger Danger. Beautiful Stranger is a rosy color that I believe it's this one. And Fembot is this one. Beautiful packaging. Fembot is like a dusty purple, a dusty purple mauve. And Beautiful Stranger is a beautiful rose color. I have Fembot on my lips, but I cocktail everything. So I've got a whole bunch of other colors over Fembot because I find Fembot a little bit too light for my skin tone and almost a little gray down. I just want to punch it up a little bit. The other thing about these shadows, these are matte trance. They're very creamy going on the lips but the texture of it is almost like very, very fine sandpaper. It has a texture to it. I can feel it as I'm putting it on, but it's, it's very creamy, but a solid creamy color. I was a little bit surprised by that feeling of the texture as I'm putting it on my lips. And it has no scent. The only thing I would say about these quads and these specialty shadows is that for me, I do have oily lids. And of course you can see I do have a major, I have major hooded eyes, okay? I've had to learn to accept that. I have had to learn to accept that I'm never gonna be able to paint my eyes in a, in a realism format, you know, with like, you know, cut creases and everything perfectly defined. That's never gonna be me. And in fact, I don't really like that style that much. I can appreciate the artistry, but I don't really like that style that much. I love the kind of more watercolor, pretty colors that flow into each other, more impressionistic. And my eyes can only do impressionism. It's only gonna be able to do that. So with these colors, because my, my, literally my eye folds underneath the other, kind of rolls up underneath when I open my eyes, there's gonna be a lot more creasing than even more of a monolithed person. A lot of hooded eyes are more monolithed, whereas mine really rolls right up. So with that, I'm gonna get a lot more creasing. Even with putting on a proper eye primer, not concealer, I, I get creasing with this. I get creasing with her specialty shadows in the motherships. It's, it's just gonna happen because they have more emolliency to them. They are powerful, they are beautiful, but unfortunately for me, I get creasing. And on top of that, I have oily lids. So I've got a double whammy going on. That's why I never do my under lids because of that. That is one of the only drawbacks that I have with this, but you know what? I don't care. I really don't care. Other people really care about creasing, and I think for most people, you're not gonna have a problem with this. Unless you have oily eyes, and if you do, I highly recommend with oily eyes use a primer not a concealer however for me I'm never gonna be able to get around it with their specialty shadows but I really don't care I love them that much that is my reality check to her specialty shadows on my eyes some dupes okay as I said before you can get similar feel to those specialty saddles and the astrals with indie brands, but they're not gonna get the radiance. There's only in one indie brand, and it's a homegrown indie brand that can do that, and that is Cleona Cosmetics. And it's only 
some particular ones of their shadows that can do that. But that is for another video, so I'll leave you hanging there with that. I'm not gonna go too deeply into these dupes, okay? Because really, it's really not necessary as far as I'm concerned. So this one here, this Astral, oh my God, what is it called? I think it's called Astral Gold Allure. This one is very similar, very similar to Midnight Sun's Astral Solstice. The only difference is that this one is more white silver based. It has more of a cool tone, whereas this one is called Astral Gold Alert, has more of a warm tone to it. But they're very similar. But you're gonna get different feels for it. Iconic Illumination again. If you do not wanna spend the, the amount for this, but you still want a little bit of Pat McGrath and you still love this color story, you know another one that you can use, and a wonderful person on IG gave me a heads up on it, is that her Eye Ecstasy palettes, and this one is in Sublime. This one, I did swatch it so that you can see how, very similar. Now, it gets the vibe, this gets, this gets the vibes of this, okay? But the formula is different. You're not gonna get any astrals in this. It's not gonna happen. This one is gonna be a little bit brighter, a little bit shinier. One of them has a very similar, I think it's this one here and this one here, have very similar sheens to them. So if you want to get a feeling of a color story to this, go with this. It's only $25. Something like that, I'll put the real price on it. 65 to 25. You won't be paying for the packaging, you won't be paying for the specialty shadows. But listen, these are very specialty in and of themselves. Her foils, metallics are beautiful. So you cannot go wrong with this affordable version of this. A recipe. You have no idea how happy I am and how many other people are happy to see the realization of these specialty shadows in quad format. And it is an experience enjoying these quads. It is an experience to use, it is an experience to open and pull out, it is an experience of a quad format. And I love that she made it very special by having it a removable palette with the whole thing at the back and everything. And I'm super, super happy. My favorites, I'm sure it's no surprise to you that it's Ritualistic Rose and Nocturnal Nirvana because I love my pinks, I love my colors, and and I can blend these two together. I am very, very happy though that I did get Iconic Illumination. And the neat thing about it is you can choose one depending on what is your predilections of what your tastes are. That's the nice thing about how Pat McGrath did it. She did a romantic one with Ritualistic Rose. She she did an all-out pop one, disco, Studio 54, probably why it's called Nocturnal Nirvana in the first place. And then she did an everyday one. So depending on what your tastes and pretty elections are, you've got you've got it all in here. Me, I'm one of those people, I'm a chameleon. I need to mix and match in whatever my mood or my interest, whether I'm feeling romantic, whether I'm feeling disco pop, whether I'm feeling emergency day. I've, I've got it all covered. And thank goodness one of them was free. So I'm super happy. And just remember, if you are very interested in the Iconic Illumination, you'll like that color stir, but you don't want to spend the price, you've always got the option of the Eye Ecstasy palettes in Sublime. And if you like the pop of the Nocturnal Nirvana, there's the other Eye Ecstasy palette in the colorful one. I don't have it here, but it was the colorful one. You can use those instead. They're very affordable. So I hope you enjoyed enjoyed my review, whatever you would call it. If you did, do remember, give me a thumbs up, like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification button because then you will not miss any of my uploads. And remember, rock your own kind of amazing beauty and keep on going and keep on glowing. I certainly will.